Hi, Cy here from Music Radar. We're back once again with Rob. Hello, Rob. Hello. Um, today, we are bringing in the Fender Leads. Yes. Two. They're back. And three. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Um, you might not have heard of the Fender Leads <laughs> <laughs> in the first place, but they are back. Uh, they were um, they were a Fender model um, made between 79 and 82. Yeah. Yes. And they were... Kind of marketed as more of an entry level <clears throat> strat, I suppose. Well, this is um, pre Squire days, wasn't it? Yes, because the Japanese Squires came in in '82. Yeah. So, yeah. So we're, but they, they weren't that, you know, they weren't cheap guitars by any means. No. Um, Compared to the others, cheaper, yeah. but not the affordable, cheap things that they were marketed yeah. as, perhaps. Yeah. So, um, over the th three years that they were in production, there was, it began with the lead one. Which yeah. was a single humbucker mm -hmm. uh, model, Bridge. then the then the lead two, uh, which was two singles. Yeah, and this is the lead two here. Yeah, and then there was the lead three, which was uh, a double humbucker model with um, coil splits. Coil splits. So these aren't uh, like a straight reissue, but they're they're pr they're pretty true to the the features of those the yeah. two and three. Some modern modern features um, added because this has coil splits. And um, That's we'll get to that one, Sweetie's. So the phase know. shift. Yeah. Oh, you're giving it away now. Oh, well, you know. Oh, they know already. The big, big reveal. The big reveal. Um, so if we if we just grab a strap, because we, we always keep a strap handy, just just in case. Just out of shot. Um, I mean, why not? You can see. Um, Dun -dun. see it's a more compact yeah. uh, model, and it really does um, feel different in play as well. It feels a lot. Um, Feels lighter. I mean, th this is quite a light this guitar anyway, as you've probably noticed. Yeah. So I don't know when we were going to mention this later on. But yeah, I've I've, I've jumped on ahead. You jumped on yeah, ahead. Yeah. But while we're here, there's yeah. there's about a pound difference in weight there between are. the this two is, and the three. That's that's um, I, I like weighing guitars. This is one of the things I do. I'm a bit weird. Ross thing. Um, that's six point four pounds, and that is um seven point four pounds. Um, they're both made from they're Same both tool. outer bodies. Um, maple necks. But um, obviously that one's got humbuckers in, more circuitry. So a whole pound's worth of different fretboard, more circuitry, and uh, but it just, it just shows you that that they can, the guitars, they can be quite different in weight. They're yeah, even absolutely. guitars that are made from the same materials. Yeah, and uh, if you really want a light guitar, um, you're probably better off going to a store, drawing it out. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. You've got to get try it in the hand it, to find out yeah. what's and, going on. But I, I've jumped off. Jumped You've jumped off course. These new uh, lead guitars are part of the uh, Fender's Player series, which is um, bringing some really, really cool uh, Mexican-made models. Mm. And it was quite unexpected to see these when we were at Nam. Yeah. Um, a real surprise. Um, Fender Japan brought back the Swinger model, incidentally, uh, about a month before Nam, which was kind of a, like a limited run quite an expensive run uh japanese made model yeah um well you know semi-expensive um which is unexpected so that was another obscure model yeah uh, probably more obscure than um than these than the leads so it's really cool when i think any brand brings back a model from its history and gives it a second chance and we, we are we are slightly were wondering why there's no lead one though no. Uh, maybe Where, where's they, your lead one, lads? They, you know? Maybe they, to be honest, with, with both guitars having these extra switching functions, maybe they thought, well, what can we do with that? What well, they we could do? have just had a cold split in the in the one. So yes. new, newer features on these guys, obviously updated hardware. Um, yeah, you've got the uh, Player Series uh, single coil uh, pickups here. Mm -hmm. um, Alnico 5. 5, yeah. No. 2. Oh, no, which is the Alnico? Hang on. Uh, no, Al Nico 5, yes, I've just remembered, yeah. Al Nico 5, uh, the 3 has got the Al Nico 2. 2s. Yeah. The 5, 2, yeah. right. Get that cool. in. Yeah, so these are a little bit uh, quite hot, um, mm -hmm. single calls, and they're a little bit, I suppose you call creamy blues. Creamy blues. Know, Punk? Uh, yeah. Punk and blues. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, so Maple, Maple uh, fretboard on this. Yeah. Um, uh, we said older, older body. Older, older. Depending on where you are, um, string three body, uh, yep. quite big, big, big old saddle blocks on that. They are. Um, They're quite, yeah, quite yeah nice. which is nice. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's part of the Fender Player series, so you're getting the, the player pickups on that. Yeah, the, the strap strap pickups. Colorways, 
Got to talk about these guys, Yes, man. yes. Um, they are lovely, This they? is it, neon green. Neon green? Yeah, and in a lot of the publicity, you're seeing these two um, like finishes. The, the these main, are the ones that they really want to... They're wanna, selling it on these. And they're cool. They? They're yeah. cool, aren't they? Um, this is kind of, uh, kind of like St. Vincent's custom model that she's had customised. She, she plays a, a lead two, I believe. Right. That's heavily customised. Yeah. Uh, might be wrong. It might be lead three. Yeah. Um, and she's got like EMGs in there, and um, I think a, a synth pickup or something like that. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's been seen with that. So it's quite cool. I don't know if that's influenced this because this it wasn't obviously original finish. No. On on the lead twos, um, and there's also black. So Fender still make black, black guitars. Black guitars. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Um, it's good well, to see. And the other one in this one is they got uh, red. Uh, crimson red transparent. Crimson yeah. red transparent. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, kind of the whether it's um, Palferro is uh, dependent on the finish. Oh, we um, see. Yeah. Right, so so it's not... these ones are metallic. This is metallic purple here. Yeah. Um, and the other finish is a Sienna Sunburst, and that's a maple net uh, model. And the other Palferro model is Olympic white. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So no, no black white. for the for the three. No black just, finish. Not just yet. two. Not yet. Um, I think it's one of those things that you, you expect they, they're going to probably run with it a bit. And maybe yeah, the one will come out. Who um, knows? Because, you know, and they should because w w these are really fun guitars. Yeah. Um, I don't want to say that in like a, you know, like throwaway fun. No. They're, they're really they're really nice players, these. And yeah. I, I really like that more compact body. I, I really... You've got low it. action, yeah. Warmed, I, 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 I never played an original lead, so I've got, I can't really compare. No, no, yeah, okay, yeah. But you know, I really like like them. They're a, they're a cool little spin on the on the strat. I mean, uh, if you've ever fancied something different, these these are really this really way. are, and they're bringing something new to the table with the switching options as well. Let's have a listen. Yeah, I think start with the three because he's the one that's plugged in. He's plugged in right yeah. now. Where's my, where's my right, yeah. so that I mean, let's just play. So have a play, quick. So we're going through straight, straight into, drive on there. straight into the, uh, straight into the clean. Yeah. So I'll better talk on about the, the switching on this first. Yeah. Um, now let me think. Let me think. Okay. So uh, the switch is here for the coil, coil. split, and this is the coil splitting yeah. switch. Down, down is the coil split on the bridge. Yeah. So, well, we're not. Oh, sorry. The tuner's on. There we go. So that's with the coil split on. If I put that up to the middle, middle. that's just full humbucker. Full it's just, just and that's the coil split on. Um, so back to humbucker mode. Um, so that's just your middle. That's both right. And then when you switch to the neck pickup, um, this is the humbucker neck, neck position. You need to switch it up for the neck. Gotcha. So that's the coil split on the neck. Yeah. Okay. So it's a bit, bit. You know, it's not a push pull, but it's it's fairly. So back back to the mid, you know, mid center position is is normal humbucker mode. For the bridge and the neck. gotcha, okay, gotcha.
that you've explained all of that, should we completely undo our own minds and try and explain yes. what's going on with this one? Yes. Um, right, kill that. So, yep. here, um, the switch is not, obviously not a coil split because they're single, single coil pickups. Um, here's your three-way, your standard three-way switch for bridge, both, both. Neck. neck, yeah. Um, in the middle position, the switch is in operation. Okay. Okay, so it's just a two-way switch off and on. Right. Okay. It's just a bridge sound, okay. Mm -hmm. But if we go, sorry, the middle. Yeah, middle yeah, yeah. Sound. So if we put the switch in operation, um, it goes out of, out of phase. Yeah. So this is a normal middle sound. Yeah. I mean, that's probably not, thinner, it? yeah, it's a thinner sound, but yeah. it has its uses. You know, you can use it to cut through a bit more with that's like, um, I call it like a, I call it a radio sound. Okay. So it's like a lo-fi thing. So it could be quite cool in intros, you know, yeah. before you kick in a riff. Before, yeah, Just remember yeah. to hit the hit right, right switch. <laughs> They're very close. Yeah. 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 And of course, if we're chucking any, going through any overdrive or distortion, have even more of a jangly yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to see this one as like your garage rock in yeah, your guitar, but yeah. I, don't, you know, I don't really like that kind of... You're not down with that Classification. No, yeah. I think it, it, that's totally mm. applicable, but it's, um, you yeah, know, it could be... It's got more to it what you that. want it to be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so um, it's it's not as um, varied and, and flexible as, as this one, but it's quite a cool... Yeah, well, it's got its, on a, yeah, it's got its own uh, tone yeah. print, as they say. Yeah, it's a really, you know, it really feels like a very light guitar. Yeah, it's really friendly um, to, for, for younger players as well. You know, why why should a guitar be a battle? You know, th these are really nice and easy guitars to play, and it, it's actually kind of hit me how hard I'm working with my saying? telly at yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm always like, yeah, you know, I've got you know gauge tens on that, on that, and these, I believe you know these are nines, so. But it's, but it's more than that. It's, it's, it's a lot just... slinkier feel. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's nicely set up guitar. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, well, let's talk price quickly because yeah, um, player series. It is at the affordable end, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So it's like um, five nine nine for these, for these guitars, yeah. which is competitive. And obviously, street prices you coming in under that. Of um, course. Yeah. I mean, they're always. Yeah. Undercut uh, each other. Those retailers. It's, yeah, it's it's a really good guitar for that money. Mm. You know, both both both. both Great guitars for that money, um, and you're saying like like you say it's 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 a case of we, we we couldn't tell you which one to get over the two or the three. It's it's a sort of you need to kind of get it in your hand to know what yeah. what sort of thing you're in for, really, isn't it? Yeah, I mean some some people don't they just don't want humbuckers. So that's, no, no so. that's fair enough. I mean, I'd I'd like to know if like these are consistently lighter than the humbucker well, models, just a, or whether it's just one of these. Well, it's quite example of manufacture. Yeah, yeah. we we'll hope that they'll, they'll bring more out. And we'll, Get them in. Yeah, put them on the cool. scales. Um, also worth mentioning this, you know, you're probably going to need a right and ang right angle jack for it. Um, yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're true to the original, aren't they? That's how it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True to the original, um, but obviously different from a strat where it's um, angled. Angled in. Yeah. Angled in. Um, so yeah, we we don't have a right angle jack, so we can't show you what that looks like. There's probably one somewhere around here, somewhere. but someone's nicked it probably. Yeah. Now, look. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, in a nutshell, so good two lovely looking guitars, yeah. lovely set of finishes. I reckon these are the two fav like my favourite finishes. They've they've definitely picked the best two to to sell. Yeah, it with, absolutely. Shall we say. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I'm going to say the same old spiel as always. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. We've seen this video right now, and of course, uh, check out MusicRadar.com for latest news, reviews, and tutorials. We'll see you soon.